I think it's just it's just going to make things worse. Like, That's what she should be doing straight away, is calling for an election. She probably can do a better job than what uh, Boris Johnson's doing. To be honest, whoever got in, it's going to be a difficult job. So yeah. I think it's about time they got somebody and it should have been a lot quicker. Are you happy that it was Liz Truss? I, I wasn't really bothered about who it was. As long as somebody took over. Yeah, yeah. what did you think about Liz Truss uh, winning the race for PM? Uh, well, it was a bit of a close call, but it's it's going to be quite difficult for her because they've got a lot of stuff to get sorted out. Because, I mean, the cost of living crisis, the NHS, etc., she has got a lot of work to do. be interesting to see what happens over the next few weeks. Are you, are you confident that she's going to be able to meet the challenges in front of her that she's inherited from Boris Johnson, like Russia and the cost of living crisis? Only time will tell whether she comes up with the goods or not. And it's going to be a difficult job, so I don't know whether she's the best person for the job or not, but we will see. What do you think about Liz Truss becoming the new PM? Well, I think that we need a change of government, really, not just a change of leader of the Conservative Party. I think that if you look at today, we've got people out on strike in HGS in Liverpool. We've got strikes going on across the country from different unions. And I think that there needs to be a clear lead from the uh, government to say to employers they've got to pay more with this cost of living crisis. I think we've got real concerns that she had actually uh, bring in uh, legislation that's against people being able to stand up and, and fight for better terms and conditions. Um, we've, you know, in trade unions, we're concerned that she's going to look to bring in legislation to make it more difficult for people to, to strike. Right. Government need to step in to help workers, not try and put blockers in the way. I think she was the best choice between the two of them. I was quite pleased, really, because. Uh, Again, Rishi Shunak, he's done a good job under very difficult circumstances, but um, I think if, if you listen to each person's spiel, I think Liz was the best one for the job. Are you hopeful that Liz Trust will be able to mitigate the situation that we find ourselves in? I think so, yeah. yeah. Uh, given what they've been saying on the news this morning and over the last couple of days, I do think it can't, it can't go on, can it, people? will be forced to make a choice between eating or heating, as it's been said many times. If it came down to a general election tomorrow, say, and it was Liz Truss versus Keir Starmer, who would you rather see in number 10? I wouldn't like to see, uh, I'd sooner see Angela Rayner than him. Have you got any hopes for Liz Truss's premiership? No, not really. I'll have to just see what, what she's going to come up with. We don't even know what she's going to come up with, really, do we? I know she's promised this and the other, but she's got to sort the energy crisis out, hasn't she? Or else places like this will just shut down, won't they? Well, do you, that's the thing. Do you think that she's capable of it? Well, she's the only one we've got, is she? There's nobody else. Uh, I think it might be a good thing for the country, getting rid of Boris Johnson with all the policies he had and just hope their policies are better than his. Do you think that she's in a good position to mitigate the problems that come from the Boris Johnson government? Uh, I would expect so. She says that she is, so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, if it came down to an election tomorrow between her and Keir Starmer, who would you rather see in power? Probably Keir Starmer. What do you think he could do better that she couldn't? I think the Conservative government have had a long time to improve things in the country and they've not done a very good job of it up to now, so I think they could probably, Keir Starmer could probably do a better job. What thoughts went through your head when you heard that she'd become PM? Uh, I just thought it might be... She, probably can do a better job than what uh, Boris Johnson's doing. I think it's just, it's just going to make things worse. Like, she's not connected with the people at all. She's done a lot of things that, especially people, for me, yeah, it's just going to be even more against her. I just think, like, a lot of the things from her past, which is already, on stuff like Twitter, they're already getting dragged up and everything. It's just, it's just not going to, going to bode well for a lot of people, I don't think. Do you think we're going to see kind of a repeat of Boris Johnson's premiership? I think, well, it's always just in charge. We're going to keep seeing the repeat because they're all the same. Like you see Edwina Curry when she was on either Good Morning Britain or this morning yesterday. It's just like with a cardboard cut out of Boris Johnson in the background. I, mean, it's, I think we'll start seeing backtracks very soon. And uh, oh, we can't do this right now. Um, we've got to wait for this to happen. We've got to wait for this. And it's just, it's an, it's a never ending saga, really, with the Tories. Like it's just one thing after the other.